Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can mod The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild using Seamu Emulator so that you can make all of your weapons fully indestructible. For this test, we are going to be using the Soldier's Broadsword. Let's just quickly save our game so when we make them indestructible, we can come back to this exact point in time and test the Soldier's Broadsword's durability once again. Let's now cut down some trees and see exactly how many hits it takes for this weapon to be destroyed. Okay, so there we go. We cut down three trees and our weapon fully broke. I'm now going to exit out of Simu and I'm going to show you exactly how you can mod your game so your weapons become fully indestructible. The first thing you're going to want to do is come to this link right here and download this Unbreakable Weapons mod. A massive thank you must be given to user Zerg for creation of this particular mod. Let's continue and download this version of the mod right here. Clicking download will let you download it, I'm going to simply save mine to my desktop. Once it has downloaded, you can close or minimize this tab. As you can see, this is the mod right here, I'm simply going to extract this right here to my desktop. Now before we start installation of this mod, I'm going to quickly show you how you can back up your game files so that you can revert any changes that we are about to make. You want to come to your MLC01 folder within CMU, User, Title, this folder and you want to find your Breath of the Wild directory. This is mine, to find out what your game directory is, come back, launch CMU, and you want to actually load your game. Once your game begins to load, simply close CMU and open this log file. Within this log file, on this line right here, you can see the exact folder we are looking for. All you need to do is come back to your MLC01 folder, user once again, title, this folder, and as you can see, these directories match. You want to come into this directory, to your content folder, and we want to back up both the actor and the physics folders. What you want to do is you want to back up these folders to somewhere safe. I'm simply going to create a new folder on my desktop, and I'm going to title this folder Weapons Backup. Once we have created this folder, I'm simply going to open it and put it into a window on its own. Now all you need to do is copy these two folders, Actor and Physics, and paste them into this folder that we have just created. You have now successfully backed up all of your stock weapons for Breath of the Wild. Let's now begin installation of this mod. Simply open up this Unbreakable Weapons pack, open up this content folder, and as you can see, the Actor and Physics packs right here. What you want to do is highlight them like so, and drag and drop them over into this folder. Once you drop them into the folder, you will be asked to replace any files in the destination. Do this, and we have basically completed the installation of this mod. Let's now load back into game and make sure that our weapons are all correctly modded to be indestructible. So here we are loaded back into game, as you can see we are in the same place as before. Let's equip our soldier's broadsword and test cutting down some trees. So there we go guys, as you can see our weapons are now completely indestructible. I am now going to show you how you can correctly uninstall this mod if you wish to do so at any point. Ok, so to uninstall this mod what you need to do is get your weapon backup that we previously made and open it and your CMU directory. Come to MLC01, User, Title, this folder and our Breath of the Wild directory that I showed you how to find earlier. You want to come to the content folder and now you want to select the actor and the physics packs and you want to delete both of these. Once these files have been deleted, all you need to do is copy both of these files from your backup and drag and drop them across into this folder. Once you have done this, you have successfully reverted any changes that we made earlier and uninstalled this mod successfully. So there we go guys, you now have fully indestructible weapons for use with The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Seamu Emulator. So as always, I'm gonna leave this video run out with my thank you note to all of the BSOD Gaming patrons. If you wish to join up, help me grow the channel and get your name included on this list, you can find a link to the BSOD Gaming Patreon in the video description. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, Dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.